Now let's go through the key points of what was discussed in Parliament on the Ridout Road state rentals. Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien was the first to deliver his statement. He announced that public officers with information on government property leasing and valuation matters will be required to make a declaration when renting such properties managed by their agencies, and that's to prevent any conflict of interest. Heidi Ng has more. An investigation and a review into the rentals of two black and white bungalows by the two ministers have not uncovered any wrongdoings. But Senior Minister Teo says the public service will reference the case to reinforce the importance for public officers to act with integrity. So the Public Service Division will introduce a standard declaration requirement for selected groups of officers. Mr Teo says it will work with relevant ministries and statutory boards such as the Housing Development Board and Singapore Land Authority. Officers in these organisations who have access to privileged information and or can influence the outcomes of decisions will have to make a declaration before they can rent government properties managed by their agencies. The officer will have to declare that he has taken adequate steps to prevent any conflict of interest from arising, for example by recusing himself from overseeing or processing the transaction. These properties will include commercial and residential state properties such as black and white bungalows, terraces, factory office spaces, business parks, shops and neighbourhood centres, hawker and market stores. The Prime Minister will also review the declarations required for property transactions for ministers and PAP members of Parliament. In his statement to Parliament, Mr Teo stressed the significance of the Prime Minister asking the CPIB to investigate the rental transactions. There is no more thorough, persistent and, I dare say, even fearsome investigative body in Singapore. That the Prime Minister did not hesitate to call the CPIB in to investigate two senior ministers is a signal how seriously we take such matters of incorruptibility and its absolute value in our system. Mr Teo says this episode demonstrates the paramount importance of maintaining high standards of integrity and accountability in the government and nationally. The extensive questions posed by members from both sides of the House reflect the importance we place on the integrity and quality of Singapore's system of government. Let us continue, generation after generation, to instill strong values in our people especially the men and women in politics and public service, to continue serving with integrity and excellence, even when no one is looking.